In a small town nestled between rolling hills, a young woman named Maya lived with a persistent feeling of emptiness. Though she had a job, friends, and a roof over her head, she couldn't shake the sensation that something was missing. Every day felt like a race to acquire more, more success, more possessions, more recognition. Yet, no matter what she achieved, the emptiness lingered. One evening, while walking home from work, Maya passed by a quaint little workshop she had never noticed before. Its sign read, Martin's Woodworks. Curious, she peered through the window and saw an older man, perhaps in his late fifties, quietly sanding a piece of wood. His face was calm, content, and peaceful. Something about the scene drew her in, and before she knew it, she opened the door. The bell above the door jingled, and the man looked up with a warm smile. Hello there, he said in a gentle voice. Can I help you with something? Maya hesitated. I don't know, honestly. I just, I saw you working, and you looked so at peace. I guess I wanted to know how you do it. The man chuckled softly, wiping his hands on his apron. I'm Martin, and you're right. I do feel at peace. But it took me years to get here. Maya stepped further into the workshop, her eyes scanning the handcrafted furniture and decorations. Everything looked simple, yet beautiful. I don't understand, she said. I have everything I thought I needed, but I still feel like something's missing. Martin gestured for her to sit, and they settled at a small wooden table by the window. Let me tell you a story, Martin began, his voice steady and kind. When I was younger, I was always chasing something, money, status, success. I thought if I could just have a bit more, I'd finally feel fulfilled. But no matter what I achieved, it never felt like enough. Maya nodded feeling an echo of her own experience. Then one day, an old mentor of mine shared a quote that changed everything for me. Martin continued. He said, When you realize nothing is lacking, the whole world belongs to you. At first I didn't get it, but over time I started to understand. The emptiness I felt wasn't because I was missing something, it was because I was always focusing on what I didn't have instead of appreciating what I already did. Maya frowned her mind turning over his words. But what if I don't have enough? What if I'm still not where I want to be? That's the tricky part, Martin said with a smile. You have to realize that enough isn't about the things you have, but about the way you see the world. When you stop looking for fulfillment outside yourself and recognize that you're already whole, everything changes. Maya sat in silence for a moment, absorbing his words. She glanced around the workshop again, Noticing the craftsmanship of each piece. None of it was extravagant, but each item had its own quiet beauty. I've spent so long chasing things I thought would make me happy, she murmured. And how has that worked out for you? Martin asked gently. She gave a small, rueful smile. Not great. Martin leaned forward, his eyes kind and knowing. You already have everything you need to be at peace, Maya. It's not about what's out there, but what's in here. He tapped his chest. When you realize nothing is lacking, the whole world belongs to you. Maya took a deep breath, letting his words settle into her heart. For the first time in a long while, the gnawing sense of emptiness began to fade. Thank you, she said softly. I think I needed to hear that. Martin smiled warmly. We all do from time to time. As Maya left the workshop that evening, the world around her seemed different. The trees were greener, the air fresher and the setting sun painted the sky in hues she had never truly noticed before. For the first time, she wasn't chasing after something. She was simply present, and it was enough. And in that moment, the whole world belonged to her.